that mediocrity knows no respect. So we have to develop seven lives like a cat and the first life is enough is not enough, we want more. Es un símbolo para todos los pueblos oprimidos. Playa Girón es la primera derrota del imperialismo en América Latina, pero también es una de las primeras derrotas del imperialismo en escala mundial. What I like on this guy, I never met him and he is quoting my text, so very nice. Architecture for sure is not surface, I think it's content. Do you remind one song of Lady Gaga? You always will have in mind, if you hear the word Lady Gaga, not like Bob Dylan, you will always see um, how she looks like. Architecture, of course, is the synergy between content and form. And as you know, we are always the best. But now, architecture is a team game. Um, the new method of running an office is very similar to the play attitude of Barcelona. Very, very uh, straightforward on one hand. On the other hand, playing this uh, playful game. On the other hand, the rules and regulation of this straightforward game is broken by the talented guys like Messi or Xavi. They are not playing in this uh, uh, game rules. They are playing street football without rules. So they are breaking the rules and creating a lot of chances. So complexity is that you break the rules in order to create new points of departure. Plan is section, is view, is detail. Remember, and this is very important, when the grid vanishes, Gestalt, which is very important for us, Gestalt comes close to form, but it isn't form, it's more than form, then the form, the Gestalt, remains. Take your time is the seventh quote, but not too long. What we have to learn is the <laughs> cross, the cross punch strategy, which is to spot the problem before it becomes a problem, to spot it and react and destroy it before it is a real problem. So, what are, for whom are we building? I think we are not building for clo closed societies because their rules and regulations prohibit free personal development. I think we are going, I think, much more for the open societies, open systems, open society, complexity, which means we have no perfect solution, but we have new solutions. And um, if you, if I may quote Bob Dylan again, then you have uh, to uh, replace the word mobile and Memphis with architecture and client. That means to be stuck inside of architecture with the client blues again. So if we are talking about open society, we have to talk about the attitude of communication. Is this uh, uh, an open communication, uh, working with the computer, with the laptop, with the iPhone, with the iPad, and um, communicate not with your neighbor, but with the neighbor far away, which is not a neighbor <laughs> anymore. So um, compared to the age, uh, to the old age, um, how do you say, uh, I forgot the name, to this hunter who is following a track of a deer in the desert, a guy of our times who is getting 
on the airport, the right plane at the right time, which brings him to the right place, compared to this, the um, Stone Age hunter is a professional idiot. So the open society be, can uh, describe by this quote, everybody is right, but nothing, really nothing is correct. If we talk about architecture, we only talk about the peak, the visible peak of an iceberg. The non-visible architecture, the, the subterranean conclusions, so to say, are not visible. That means uh, the project manager, the client, decision, the, the politic, the codes and rules are very important for the outcome of the visible part, but you can't control it. You are almost um, like a prisoner of this subterranean uh, power. So architecture is heavy. As you know, weight costs time and money. And where time and money is, is politic. So we can decide whether we are uh, small fishes underwater, or we are uh, a leaping whale which has the ability, if he changes the paradigms, meaning the subconscious to the reality, um, even very heavy weight can fly. When I'm talking about form, I mean not closed forms, I mean open forms, and um, I compare it with this bird which is a beautiful, detailed uh, visual image. Uh, it's a falcon. The prey of the falcon is a goose. A goose doesn't see the bird as a bird. It just simplified this uh, figure to a simple cross. So that means if you are simplifying shape too much, maybe you have the point of view of a goose. I'm talking about Brancusi, who, who is not, not only doing sculptures, he is a complex, no, he is a solver of complex um, uh, problems in terms of um, uh, putting things together which doesn't fit at the first glimpse. So when we started to use the computer, we always introduced mistakes into the program in order to get uh, unexpected and emotional uh, shapes and forms. That uh, leads from the, from the uh, competition um, uh, for the Geneva Unido uh, building to the Chess uh, Academy building in Baku in Azerbaijan. This is a building um, in, in China, in Shenzhen, it's um, a museum. Actually, there are two museums under one roof, a museum for modern art and an architectural museum. I like this rendering because it shows the, the, the merchandising strategy in China. They really don't look at ground plans or sections. They only want to see um, renderings. So, we only present renderings. <laughs> and what I like is they are very romantic because we transferred uh, the cherry tree from Japan to uh, China. They really loved it. <laughs> it's a pity, it's a real pity. You can think a lot about how to organize the building, how to structure the building, they really don't look at it. They just want to see, especially the mayor who makes the, um, the last decision, he wants to see a rendering where he can imagine how it will look like when it's finished. So therefore, we have to plant the cherry tree right now because breaking the ground is in two months, meaning we are building two years, so maybe the cherry trees are finished at this time. So, uh, as I said, it's a complex uh, building. Um, on the right side, the 
Museum for Modern Art, and on the left side, more open, the um, Architectural Museum. In between, a, a space looking like a dolphin. And it was a dolphin at the beginning, starting from a computer-driven um, shape. Then we put the finger into the program, and out came a kind of flying head of the dolphin. And when they saw the first design, they said, OK, we are not an aquarium. <laughs> we are not a, a fish museum. So they recognized it <laughs> immediately on the rendering, not on the model. So um, it, it's, as I said, a museum for contemporary art and architecture. Surrounded by very nice other buildings done by German architects. What we introduced, because it's a kind of passage going through the building, is a public space in the middle of the uh, in between of the two uh, museums and this the dolphin is so to say the, the image or the, the icon for the public space the infrastructural uh, program like restaurants library and audiovisual and educational you have it here, we in Europe have a lot of discussion whether architects are allowed to build for an um, autocratic system uh, like in China. And um, I always defend Rem or Herzog de Meron because I said long time ago when Brunelleschi did his beautiful cupola he was building for the most authoritarian system you can imagine, a cruel system as well, the Catholic Church. So, no way. If you are able to do what you want to do, to build what you want to do, there is um, no shame to do so wherever you can do so, because it pushes the, the, the borderline of the acceptance of strange new architecture um, and this is very important. But if you follow the codes and rules, building it more Chinese than the Chinese want to do, then it's the wrong decision. The Germans like to do so, and uh, that's cruel to see how they fake uh, the, wrong, the wrong decision, so to say. So the Dolphin becomes a building for a winery in Austria, and the, uh, the Dolphin bigger, uh, in, in a museum in Xiongdong. Breaking the ground. For me, breaking the ground is a very intense moment because uh, this is the moment where a thought building becomes reality. Meaning, meaning this is the moment where we as architects changing the paradigms from thinking into building. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten <laughs> buildings under construction. Uh, one is the uh, headquarter of the European Central Bank in Frankfurt. Very tough to do a, a building for bankers, especially this one because it breaks the rule of uh, the systematic uh, thinking. It um, is a kind of three towers, the North Tower, the South Tower, and in between the Glass Tower is the atrium. Uh, the building is twisted 
And 